What's good, church family? It's your boy, Church Brother B. Hope you're having a blessed day. What's good, church family? We're having a blessed day today. We're going to watch a mo- uh, motivational motivational speech when it hurts. And we're going to see what they're talking about. And I'm going to say my comments at the end. So let's get into the video. There you go. Yes. It hurts sometimes Mm -hmm. when you feel alone. It hurts sometimes when you're in that dark place Mm. and you feel no one cares about you. The first thing you got to realize is that you got to love yourself. It's about self-love. Yeah. Start understanding that if you're going to do something with your life, you got to fall in love with yourself again. You got to stop self-hating yourself. Mm-hmm. Do something that's going to make you a better person. Make an impact in this world. Don't look at it as though it's something that you got to do temporary. Although we know that life is short. Like many people in this world, they didn't realize that the next day they was going to be diagnosed with a cancer. Mm. They thought that tomorrow was going to be waiting for them and they did not wake up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But you are still living. Now, what do you have to do? How are you going to move forward? How are you going to proceed your life? Life is not a game. Life is living. There's the good and there's the bad. And there's definitely the right now. You can't wait for somebody else to make your life better. You got to make your life better. You got to focus on you. Now, I'm not saying forget the rest of the people. But I'm telling you to get rid of the things that are not making you strong, that are not making you better, that are not making you efficient, that's not putting you in a better place, that's not giving you the strength that you need to keep living the life that you have been given. Mm. Don't you give up on life, because once your life is over, you can't come back. Big facts, big facts. Leave your mark. Help someone. Lift someone up when they down. Hmm. Be the strength for others when they're weak. Yeah. And maybe when you're at the weakest point in your life, someone will lift you up. Because we all struggle. Big facts. No one is immune to it. Yeah. So keep fighting for it. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Live. Breathe. Life, you, that's what it's about. It's going to hurt. Sometimes it's going to get tough. Mm -hmm. But when it get tough, you get tough. Yeah. Just make sure you make your mark. Make sure you make your mark in this world. Well. Because somebody didn't make it today. Big facts. What you did. Amen. Keep living. Keep living strong. Yeah. Don't give up. Man. It is not about worrying about what's going to happen. I'm going to cut it off for a second. No, you or me, anything. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact. Yeah. Tomorrow has already made up his mind. Mm-hmm. You have this moment. You can't worry about yesterday because yesterday is not coming back to look for you. Whatever you had the chance to do yesterday won't come back. But you have this moment. You have this chance to do something great with this life that you have been given. You may have been through a lot in your life. You may have been through hell in your life. But hell doesn't own you. 
Hell did not create you. God did. Life has been given to you from a higher power. God. Something that you need to understand that no matter who you are in this world that we live in today, everyone must struggle. Everyone must suffer. But everybody that is going through something always has a story to tell. Most people that are successful right now had to go through something to get what they got to this day. Some people are not even willing to hurt mm -hmm. and can feel that so that they get what it is that they want. But let's go beyond that. What about the other people out here who can't walk? What about the people out there who can't talk? What about the people out there that are suffering from diseases they cannot be cured from? What about you? What about you? What are you going to do about the life you have? How are you going to live? How far are you going to go? Do you feel sorry for yourself mm -mm. because you're having a bad day? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you lost your job? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you just feel like you're just not having the day that you want to have because the day that you have is not the way you want it to go? Or do you feel that you deserve a pat on your back hmm. because you did a good thing? We all got a responsibility. We all got to be accountable. We all got to put in work, but don't give up. Because there's somebody out there right now that is hurting. There's somebody out there right now that is struggling. There's somebody out there right now that's got it a little bit tougher than you do. So why are you going to give up now? Anything that comes your way, you got to be prepared to accept the challenge and go through it. Don't lay on your back. If something's on your chest, get it off. As long as you're breathing. As long as that heart is pumping blood, you're not dead yet. They haven't put rose petals on your box yet. Make sure every breath you take counts for something. It's time to understand that if you want to get something out of your life, you've got to be willing to work for it. How much are you really willing to give? Are you prepared to hurt? Are you prepared to struggle? Because if you're not that person, then lay back down. Stay where you are. Don't move forward. Move backwards. But if you are the person that you say you are, we don't have time to wait. Because time doesn't owe you anything. Time is not thinking about you. Time has already made up its mind. What you going to do? Who said it's supposed to be easy? It takes grit. It takes tenacity. It takes sacrifice. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. This is not a pity party. But you got the right to celebrate the life. Because no matter if it's good or if it's bad, nothing is greater than living. Because if you're living, there's a possibility to change something. Well, but not just change it, mm -hmm. evolve it. Okay. Evolve it to something greater. Hmm. Being able to take something that may not be nothing to others, but may mean something to you. There are so many people in this world that don't believe in you. But while you're sitting around worrying about people believing in you, why don't you focus on believing in yourself? Live. Breathe. Breathe. Life. Life. You. You. That's what it's about. Hmm. Y'all follow all his social media. Man, that was powerful. I ain't gonna lie. That was powerful when it hurts. 
And a lot of things I agree with. There's people that are hurting and hurt people hurt people. People don't have support. People don't have people to lean on. People don't have people that love them. People don't. People just don't have nobody. Some people have nobody, and they have they don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to go to someone. They don't know. They don't know how to put pride aside. So it's up to us to love on someone, to let someone vent how they feel, to to give people good advice, to pray for uh people when we when we can, to tell people about the word of God. So I just this was powerful. And when it hurts, it gonna hurt. We all gonna go through it. But just know that you gotta get up, dust yourself off and keep pushing. To the live for Christ. Excuse me. To you to trust in God, to you to have faith, because God is the only person that can heal us from our hurt. Just like the Bible say, he healed a broken heart. And we got to know that we count on God, depend on him. So we're going to hurt someone in our life, so let's be able to help one another. Let's make a difference and so on life for the greater good. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If this is your first time on the channel, subscribe. Like the video, share the video with somebody, comment something that you got out of this video. Share and comment something that can help someone else. Because we should be able to want to help someone, not hurt someone. And even hurt people can give advice to someone how they overcome, how God gave them the tools to overcome the situation. So, man, let's show more love and teach to look to help someone change a life because if we can help better to help our brother that's falling down sister that's falling down that's hurting if we can help them then we may be able to save a life and suicide won't won't be at a high rate murder won't be at a high rate poverty and prostitution all these different things won't be at a high rate so let's better dig deep and pray and ask god let's help somebody in a time of need, in a time of trouble. Let us be that peacemaker. Because the Bible talks about the peacemaker. That they be called sons of God. So let us be that peacemaker and be that, that one person that can change someone's life for the better good. So, church family, give me some feedback. If, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Everybody like up the video. Everybody support the channel. Support this church family because we getting bigger and better. So y'all stay blessed. Know that God love you. Know that I love you. Peace out.